Welcome back to my computer course from Zero to Hero. This is the lesson number three from the first part. And in this lesson, we will talk about hardware. Hardware? What do you mean with hardware? Well, in computer terms, with hardware, we mean the physical components of the computer. Um, because maybe if you are not a native English, I'm not a native English too, okay? And with hardware, um, usually would mean like um, the hard stuff, like um, the tools, screwdriver, hammer, like this. So the physical components of the computer are called hardware. This name is a nickname that um, comes from the 70s when the computing was a hobby and for people that built their own computer so they give them a nickname the computer the physical parts of the computer is hardware and by contrast the programs that run on the computer so on the hardware are called software so hard and software hard stuff and soft stuff <laughs> kind of funny maybe not so this is um, the computers different shapes but the inside is ev in every computer the inside is the same I mean maybe not the same quality not the same speed I mean you will find the same the components will have the same purpose inside so inside any kind of computer so we can be talk we will find these components inside a notebook laptop or a set of box for the TV or a desktop computer, or an Apple Macintosh, iMac, Mac Mini, any kind of computer, we will find these components. So let's start from the motherboard. The motherboard is called like this because it's the mother of every component. Every component will be connected to this board to work. So it has many form factors, but it has a standard. Except for laptop, okay, every laptop has a different ma motherboard because, of course, it must be very small. Also, sometimes uh, it's not also called also main board because it's main board, motherboard or main board. So this is the form factors. Usually in a desktop computer, we can find the st standard ATX that is on the left one, and then the micro, mini, nano, and pico. As you can see, they are very similar, just smaller. These components are the same size and uh, similar position. Also, this is the hole for the for the screw are in the same position so I can take away a standard ATX um, motherboard mainboard and I can put in the same place a micro ATX mainboard without any problem because, because the skew are in a standard position so let's take a closer look we can see that this is the CPU socket here we state the CPU. This is the ports for the outside, and this is for connecting the hard drive. This is for RAM, random access mode, random access memory, and this is the slot for the video card. You will put the video card in here, and this one, yellow one, is for the additional cards that. Uh, if you need to ens enhance your computer, y you can put some cards on here. Nowadays, the motherboard has everything included, so it's not very useful. The CPU. The CPU are many kinds. For them, the most famous brands are Intel or AMD. There is also Viya, Viya, that is a Taiwanese brand is not very good brand so this is the, the CPU from the Atom this is the 
slowest CP slowest and cheapest processor from Intel from the Core i7 that is the fastest as of and of course more expensive and uh, of course it's the same for the AMD Sampron, Athlon or Turion is for the laptops Sampron, Athlon and Phenom anyway the, these names if you don't know what's this um, for now it's not useful to talk about this so in let's talk about um, let's revert to what we can find inside the computer there is the random access memory that is a relatively small memory so um, in today's computer you will find like a 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes is more memory and is expensive compared to other memories for example 4, gig four gigabytes are like uh, 50 euro you know a USB drive 4 gigabytes will be like uh, 10 euro or HDD drive with uh, 100 euro we will, we will buy 1000 gigabytes so it's more expensive but it's very fast to sell to to access and it is the like a home for lo for program like um, if the program is running is inside this memory because it's very fast to access so if the program like oh I need this for run to my code the the code of the program is inside this memory and when you turn on the computer what is the operating system is doing will copy from the hard drive inside this memory so that's why it takes a long time when you turn off the computer this memory will be the contents of this memory will be deleted so this is the hard drive it has a huge memory and uh, is cheaper but is lower to access so that's why when you turn on the computer the computer have a um, will let you wait a long time because uh, you ha it is slow to access the, the 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 data so since it is uh, very big it is like a warehouse for programs and the code when the program need a code it will be copying the random access memory but uh, anyway your pictures video can be stored here because when the computer will be power off the data will be kept the video card sometimes is integrated in the mainboard or in the newest uh, Intel CPU is integrated in the inside the CPU nowadays it's quality effect only gaming and 3D stuff any card is okay for just um, work if you are in gaming you have to invest in expensive cards if you don't care about this any card is okay well the last part we will watch today is the PSU power supply unit that regulates the current in the computer it has many wires and many connectors every connector has its specific function so we'll find the connector for the hard drive the connector for the motherboard uh, another connector for the video card if your video card is very powerful uh, like a gaming video card you need another connector because it draws more power if you buy a cheap one it will be very noisy also cheap is not good it will be broken very easily this is the um, easiest component to to be broken in a computer so for today that's enough and check later for other lessons thank you for watching